Hi and welcome to a new video. Trying to load music from your Windows computer to the iPhone's music library can be quite frustrating, especially knowing how easy it could be with an Android phone. But the entire process is not that difficult, because in this video, I'll show you the best three methods to load music from a computer to an iPhone, with cable or wireless, so there should be something for everyone. Let's go! The most common method, but perhaps not the easiest, is to transfer songs by using the software iTunes. This way your songs really end up in the music library on your iPhone. In addition, all of this is for free because the software is developed directly by Apple, and it is pretty useful for Windows and iPhone users anyway, because you can also create backups in the software, transfer videos, and much more. So if you haven't already installed iTunes, do it. If you already have a Microsoft Store account, open it and install iTunes. If you don't have an account like me, just open the link in the video description below and download the installer file for iTunes. Install the program. Next. Now, I would recommend you to uncheck under the installation options that iTunes is selected as the default audio player. Install. Okay, now connect your iPhone to your computer with a lightning cable. Check if your iPhone is actually charging and if a dialog appears on the iPhone asking you whether you want to trust the computer. Confirm. Your device should now appear in iTunes. If not, it's probably due to your lightning cable. Make sure that you use an original if possible or one that is MFI certified. Great. Then click on your device in the top left corner. Now scroll down and under Summary you will find some useful options. You can set the iPhone to sync automatically either when the iPhone is connected via a cable or via Wi-Fi if it's in the same Wi-Fi network. You can also compress the songs which are downloaded to the iPhone if you have storage problems. If you set it to 256 kilobits per second, you won't hear any difference to the original song, but it saves a lot of memory. Next, you need to let iTunes know where the songs are located on your computer by clicking File in the upper left corner, and then Add Folder to Library. In my case, that's the desktop. Ok, now click on Music. Select Sync Music, Entire Music Library, and confirm it with Sync and done. From now on you can find these songs in your music library, and you will have cool advantages as well. For example, you can tell Siri, play me the song or stop the song and so on. However, if you can work without Apple's music library, there is another really cool app and that is Documents. Here you won't have the benefits of using Siri, but the transfer is very simple and works wireless. Download the app for free from the App Store. Open the app and grant it all permissions needed. Basically, this is just a file manager similar to the pre-installed Files app, but it has more features. You can skip songs here for example. Click the plus icon in the bottom right corner and then select Computer. Now the iPhone establishes a local connection to your Windows computer, so both devices must be connected to the same WLAN. Open the DocTransfer.com website on your Windows computer and enter the four-digit code. Then you will see a similar user interface to the one you have on your iPhone. If you click on the small folder icon in the upper right corner, you can create a new folder and upload regular MP3 files on your iPhone. Also, if you click on the three little dots, you can download songs from the iPhone to your computer. As you see, it's very, very simple. When you are done, click Disconnect on your iPhone. And now you'll have the same music folder on your iPhone. You can play the song and run it from the lock screen. You can stop the song and if you have several songs, you can change it as well. 
So if you think I really want to have my music on the iPhone in the music library so that you can use all the functions such as Siri, but you feel that iTunes is too complicated because it has so many functions, then there is another good alternative, and this is the program iCareFone from Tenorshare. This program has a very simple structure, but that's exactly what makes it great. You can find the link in the video description below. With this program, you can easily transfer all kind of data between Windows computers and iPhones, and all of this works without using iTunes. Before you install the program, make sure you have selected Windows and noted that the program is not for free if you want to use all its functions. Then install the program and start it. Connect your device once again to your computer with the help of a lightning cable and switch to the Manage tab in the program. Then click on Audio on the left side. If you want to, you can create a new playlist and click on Import. And then select File to select your songs from the Windows computer. With the free version, you will be able to transfer up to 10 songs. Choose your songs, click on Open and you're done transferring music to your music library. If you have songs that you want to transfer from your iPhone to your computer, then select the song and click on Export to Computer. Select a folder in which the song should be saved and click OK. The entire process works just as easily with photos and videos. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.